An Oak Cliff woman has pleaded guilty in federal court to orchestrating her husband's murder with her help from her out-of-state boyfriend. The murder was first featured on Trackdown in 2020. Jennifer Faith's case hit the federal level because of interstate commerce used in the conspiracy. The killer's vehicle, a black Nissan truck with the distinctive T on the back, had been broadcast on Trackdown. It was one of many clues that helped solve James Faith's murder. Fox 4's Sean Rabb goes into what we learned about the crime in court. Federal District Courtroom of Judge Jane Boyle echoed with the clinging of the shackles on the feet of Jennifer Lynn Faith as she made her way across the court to the defense table where she would plead guilty to the murder for hire of her husband. Oh my God, if you know what happened, I need, I need that for closure. I need to make some sense out of this. Jennifer Lynn Faith, to my face, October 2020, when the murder of her husband, James Jamie Faith, was featured in Trackdown. Jamie Faith gunned down as he and his wife walked Maggie the dog, shot seven times from behind. Anytime someone loses their life, but when people come together and put a plan together to take someone's life, it's, it's a horrible thing, and uh, we can't allow that in the city. Defense attorneys Toby Shook and Cody Skipper walked Jennifer Faith through her guilty plea to using interstate commerce and in the commission of a murder for hire. She knew who killed her husband, and no one can make sense of it. Jennifer Faith, uh, once her husband dead, so she essentially manipulates an old high school boyfriend uh, through emails and other devices to conjole and convince him to kill her husband, and he does. Darren Lopez, the old high school boyfriend, has not gone to trial for his alleged role in the murder. Murder for hire is a death penalty case, and Jamie Faith's family asked the death penalty not be an option for the woman who thought it all up so she could revisit life with the high school sweetheart on the $629,000 insurance policy Jamie Faith had through his IT director job at American Airlines. You usually see stuff like this in the movies, but in this case, it's real life. Faith admitted sending emails to Darren Lopez with generic pictures downloaded from the internet depicting physical and sexual abuse she said was caused by her husband, even creating fake emails supposedly from her husband and best friend sent to Lopez. Abuse that never happened. After the murder, sending Lopez her credit cards to use in Tennessee, even sending money raised in a GoFundMe to her distant lover. That's what the body was lying down right there. Uriel Hernandez lived across the street from the Faiths. His wife donated to the GoFundMe. She was pretty surprised because, I mean, she didn't expect all this. Well, no, nobody ever suspected all, all that. Miss Faith isn't going to get out of prison during her life, in my estimation. Sentencing for Jennifer Lynn Faith is set for 1.30 in the afternoon, May 26th. Sean Rath, Fox 4 News.